Good morning, class. This month's art assignment will be all about recycling. You'll have to create an interactive piece of art using only previously used materials. Recycling, huh? Sounds like a tough theme to work with. Ouch! What was that? <sighs> Those pesky raccoons again. Can't they ever just pay attention instead of causing trouble? No, I'm good. Wait. On second thought, let's not play paperball. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stream's over. Good night. All right, now before you turn off the stream, before you click off the video... Uh, oh. 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 This is a game called Paperball. Um, do you remember a game called Monkey Ball? And Super Monkey Ball? And Super Monkey Ball 2? It's that. It's this is that. So, I'll take what I can get. Um, let's take a look. I heard it was good. I've had people tell me that I should check this out. Let's get rolling. Um, if you remember in Monkey Ball, it was talking monkeys. This time they're going for, uh, talking cats. Remember Ready? It's exactly Monkey Ball. Go. It's exactly Monkey Ball. Ready? Go. Mods, be ready. Be on your guard. You're the last line of defense yet again. Go. Ready? But yeah, everything here is exactly Monkey Ball. There's no jump button, um, which is good, because that was not needed. Some weird frame rates, though. Ready? Um, like, I have it set to 60 frames a second. I don't know, maybe it's like, because you see it, like, getting, like, real... Every now and then, the frame rates get nice and crusty. I think the game is just not optimized. Well, considering we're not getting new Monkey Ball, and instead we're getting bad Monkey Ball, I think, um, if we're gonna get anything, it's gonna be people making games like this. Go. Because we're starved for games like this. That's my guess. Ready, go. So I'll take Legally Distinct Monkey Ball. Um, you see, it's even got a paper theme. Wow. Vinny, you realized you've doomed the Buru. No, I don't think so. Even if I did, I don't think so. Anyway, I hope you're doing well tonight, chat. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. I'm gonna check this out for a little bit and then do some Trials of Mana. Uh, Vinny, will you ever return to... Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz? Nope. Ready? Go! Am I feeling any better? Um... I'm feeling better today, but I'll be honest, I had some... Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I'm feeling better, but, but I, I went and got a COVID-19 test. I'll be honest, I just wanted to make sure. I don't know, I didn't get the results, but, uh, I wanted to just double, double, triple check because I have, you know, I have the paranoia. And, I feel, and I'm in, you know, an extremely at-risk area in the country. And so, I did that today. And, um... We'll see. Because it was like, you know, several days of feeling crusty. Ready? Go! And, um... 
today I feel a little better. I rested. I ate well. You know, I'm I'm fine, but I just didn't want to take any chances. I figured better better to know. The good news is they're doing tests at a greater speed now, and um, I was able to make an appointment, get in real quick. But they have to like stab your sinus with a thing, and it, that sucked. So. But the good news is, again, yeah, I, I, I appreciate everybody saying that. Like, physically, I feel a little better than I did yesterday. And even yesterday, I was feeling better after I streamed. So... You know, I want to take care of myself. I don't want to, I don't want to, like... Hang on, let me lower the game a little bit. Um, it was very uncomfortable. My brain was, was probed. Vinny, have you had a fever? I wasn't sure if I had one earlier in the week, but I chalked it up to allergies. The thing that's weird is the weather today was about 45. It snowed. Fallout. Oh shit, even fallout? Ready? Go! Even fallout, they're calling it. It's... I'm sure Sega won't mind. Um... So it was- it snowed for like a, a full minute on Staten Island. Fallout. And um... Ready? Go. It was uh, it was weird. But, you know, the weather was freezing today and- and honestly, in terms of health, like, later on in the day I started feeling more myself. Fallout. So my- my theory, and I'm sure you don't want to hear my whole stream be about my health, but my theory is that it was allergies the one thing that threw me off why I got a test was I felt a slight weirdness in my chest. So, I still have tastes and smell senses, they're still there. Um, it wasn't like a big pain, but it was a little something that I was like, you know what? This is not something I want to take a chance with. So, that's why I, I think I ended up getting the test. But, I'm feeling like... I'm feeling more like myself. So that's good. I'll let you know. I'll let you know what, what happens. I'll keep you updated. Chat. Thank you. How's your family doing? My direct family is doing okay. I had some extended family not do so good, though. So, you know, if <clears throat> you're wondering why I've been bummed out, that, that's some of the reason. I, I know we're all going through this, so here I am playing my monkey ball clone. Talking about um, some pretty serious shit, but thank you for caring, and I'll be okay. Mm. This game would be better with a GameCube controller because of the, um, the indentations. I don't want to get the yellow goal, though. Mm. Ready? Go. Yeah, the music is pretty good. Um, it's definitely crusty visually, but it's an indie. It's an indie game. And, um, it does what it has to do. I just don't like that the frame rates every five seconds get crusty and then go back up to 60. But yeah, the crusty visuals, that's like, it's paper. That's, that's the... Fallout. Mm. Ready? Go! How the fuck am I supposed to get that? Maybe from up here? Use the jump button. Ready, go. Ready, Mate, go. there's no jump button. Fallout. 
Ready? Go! I'm gonna try three more times. Ooh! I tried three more times. Ready? Go! Did you ever get your good controller fixed? Yes, I'm using the 8-bit dude. Controller now! Hey, Pitto. Do. Fallout. Vinny, did you see that it's Kermit's birthday today? Ready? I did see that. Oh. Yes, Kermit the Frog was born. Uh, as an homage to Kermit, I mostly use Kermit in VR chat. Fallout. Ready? Go. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a pretty big Kermit the Frog fan. So. Alright, I've given up trying to get Ready? to the, the yellow Go. goal. Uh, I don't- that's- that's kind of insane. And I, I don't want to do that anymore, so we'll just get the other one. No dedication here. Um, not this early, at least. Ready? Did you know, chat, that Majora's Mask had a 20th anniversary of the release in Japan recently? Hint? Did you know that? That's pretty cool, right? I can't believe it's been 20 years since Majora. I still remember the magazine that I read that had the first, like, information. And it was, um... God, what the hell was it? It was some English magazine that covered... I think it was just called N64. And it had, like, a five or six page spread on Majora's Mask, and I just could not wait for that game. I had dreams about it. like the dithering effect so you can see around. There's also camera control, which is something Monkey Ball so, like desperately needs. So if Sega ever brought Monkey Ball back with a real game and not like a terrible Banana Blitz port, then um, that would be a nice thing to have. Did it live up to your expectations? Majora's Mask? It surpassed my expectations on some levels, yeah. The narrative was a lot stronger. Um, and I, I got much more attached to the game world than Majora- uh, than Ocarina. Fallout. Ready? Go. But, um, I was kind of upset with the lack of dungeons, and, um, I always wanted more Adult Link. Oh, damn. Fallout. Ready? Go. But I ended up getting Adult Link with, um, Twilight Princess, so that worked out fine. But... Yeah, Majora's Mask is, is one of my favorite games, maybe ever, so... Ready, go! Ball out. Is there a monkey in that ball? There's nothing Ready, in this ball. Go. It's just paper. It's just crumpled up paper. So, for anyone wondering why I didn't like the Banana Blitz uh, remaster on the Switch, it had to uh, like take away the um, the motion controls, which was good, but it changed a lot of the levels and made them worse and fucked with the balance of the game. The game itself already wasn't that great. It was just monkey ball. It was more monkey ball. Um, but it also had, like, bizarre boss battles that were really frustrating. And, um, boss fights, uh, that, well, yeah, boss fights and also the jump button was terrible. Ready? Go! So, what I ended up doing was, I guess I had rose-tinted glasses because when the Wii came out, I was just happy to have, like, any game that had motion controls that were, you know, decent, and Monkey Ball didn't, but I pretended it did, and it had a lot of mini-games, so I was like, oh, 50 mini-games. Ten of them were good. Vinny, you didn't even play the worst level in that port. Good. Oh, shit. Fallout. Ready? Go! 
have you played Monkey Ball ROM hacks? I have played community levels for Monkey Ball 2. And there's another um, Monkey Ball... But why is it going to be anthropomorphic? There was another monkey ball, um... ...thing that I was meaning to check out, which was... ...all of Monkey Ball 1 levels in Monkey Ball 2. Through the previous level to unlock this one. Okay, we're going to intermediate. So, I have, you know, maybe I'll check that out at some point, too, and I think there's a couple bonus levels. Someone also ported the levels over from that terrible platforming Monkey Ball game into a version of OG uh, Monkey Ball 2. So, I, there's a lot of Monkey Ball that I have yet to try out. Like, yeah, adventure. So there's good Monkey Ball on the horizon that I could check out, but this seemed like a, a pretty easy option with some unique levels, and I like it so far. Look, you're in a windmill. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Have you played Monkey Ball Jr.? I did later on in life. I streamed a little bit of it, too, I, too, I think. But you know what? It was okay. The 3DS Monkey Ball was better than that. It was impressive, but the 3DS one felt pretty decent. Vinny, I've never played Monkey Ball. Where do you recommend starting? Um, if they were easily available, I would say just pick up Monkey Ball 1 and 2. But since they're not, and Sega doesn't want to make them easily available... Ready, go. Cunt. Uh, sorry. So... There's a kind of a thing where I would say recommend emulating. Have you heard of emulation? Fallout. Ready, go. <laughs> you might want to do that, because Sega doesn't want to re-release those games. Instead, they want to port over Banana Blitz. Go. Ready, go. Vita Monkey Ball is pretty good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't play that one. Fallout. Ready, go. From what I understand, Vita had four games. There we go. go. Five? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the music in this game isn't that bad so far. I'll tell you what, it reminds me quite a bit of... Ready, go. ...the actual monkey balls. There we go. Will you be checking out Mortal Kombat 11 story expansion? I don't know yet. Anything's possible. I haven't really looked into it yet. I know Robert Kopp is, is in there, but... We'll see.
Apparently it isn't worth the price. Wait, did it come out? Oh, okay. So, so that dude got a... an advanced copy of it. The person that said that the DLC wasn't worth the price. Oh, it's 40 bucks. Oh, Jesus. Well, it better be a fucking crazy story expansion for 40 bucks. Three characters. Ready? Go. Yeah, three characters for 40 bucks. That's not that great. But what if it's a really good story mode? <laughs> I guess we'll see. Do you remember the Octo expansion for Splatoon 2? Yeah, I still like cite that as being one of the better expansions Nintendo's ever done. But, how much story mode can you do in a fighting game? I mean, you can, but... Are you, you know, 40 bucks worth? Oh, this is, this is kinda... I don't like this level. Nope. No, sir. Someone just referenced the Witcher 3 Blood and Wine expansion for 20 bucks. Having, you know, what, 20 hours of gameplay? And being a really, really good expansion. I mean, it's really easy to compare DLC to the best DLC. It's a little unfair, but it's also... It's also a thing that one should do when considering picking up a $40 expansion. So, I don't know yet. I mean, I'll look into it. I liked Mortal Kombat well enough. I thought the story was completely fucking insane and over the top. No. Ready? Go. Iceborne was basically its own game. Uh, yeah, Bloodborne DLC was really good. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Ready? It's also noting that Witcher 3 sold staggeringly well, so they could afford to make the DLC cheap. That kind of makes sense. I'm gonna say, also, the Smash Fighters Pass. Do you guys feel like the prices per character have been fair? Because they're a little expensive Ready? per character. Whoa. I like... You know, I like the characters, I like the levels, I like the new music, but it's it's expensive. The one saving grace is, if you only are interested in Banjo-Kazooie, you can just buy Banjo-Kazooie and you don't have to buy the rest. So. As long as it's not, like, blue shift amount of content. No. Ready? Go. Come on. Oh! Ready? Go! 
there is a confirmation that Jedi Fallen Order is now going to be like a series. Which I thought was going to happen anyway. But... It's interesting that EA was able to uh, sell a game, or publish a game, with no microtransactions and no, like, frivolous DLC, and just see it sell really well. So, now I'm convinced that the next game is going to have all of that. more ponchos. Yeah, I, I really didn't like any of the ponchos in that game. I like the game. It needs, you know, it needed some work. They could probably fix a lot of that stuff for the sequel. But it's just, again, it's mind-blowing that it's a single-player game. After all EA said about single-player games, they were like, hey, this game sold well. Is it the beginning of a trend? Or is it the beginning of the end? <laughs> oh, fuck. Ready? Go! Also, um, I'm sure you've seen the news that Boba Ready? Fett is returning Go! to Star Wars Universe. Um, Tamora Morrison, who played Ready? Jango Fett, is going to be playing him. You know what's really cool about that? Is that I, Brian Altano made a tweet that I really enjoyed, which was, Star Wars fans have waited since 1983, since Return of the Jedi, to find out what the fuck happened to Boba Fett. And it was confirmed in a tweet that he lived. Why would they spoil that? Keep it a fucking surprise, you dumbasses. It's not that big of a deal. I know, yeah, there, it's like toy sales and also probably just hype. Because Star Wars right now has, uh, let's say, a bit of a stigma, a stink, a stinkma around it. In 15 seconds, you say. Ready, Let me show you my secret technique. Go. Ready, go. Fall out. Ready? Hmm. Ready? Go. Call out. Ready? Go. Call out. Ready? Oh. Ready? Go. I finally, I gave Sting another listen. I listened to more of his solo shit. There's like a best of. And you know what? I finally got it. Like half of the songs on his best of, I really liked. He was better with the, when he was with the Beatles, I agree. But, 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 there's a couple songs in there that I, I enjoyed, even though it's a little too adult contemporary for my tastes. Ready? Go! Call out. Ready? Go! Go! 
Oh, I got the gold too. Cool. Ready? Go. Yeah, I'm not really into Sting's like medieval loot music very much, but. What about Slash? Well, there's Slash and Sting. Then there's Gash. There's uh, Stab is really good. I like Stab's solo career. I'm also a big fan of Orchrist. Ready? Go. Yeah, Glamdring is pretty great too, yeah. My friend really likes the Soul Cages album. Have you listened to it? I've heard the song today. I heard the song today, but I didn't listen to the full album. I probably, from the best of, got a couple songs from it that I didn't even realize were on that album, but... Silver. I gotta say, I'm, I'm liking the level design in this so far. We do have new emotes. I'm sure you noticed. There's um, uh, Vine VOD for when the VOD is nuked by copyrighted content. Alizarin, that was a second revision. I thought, thank you for that, Alizarin. Very good job. I like it. It communicates what it needs to. And um, a lot of detail packed in a small emote. Uh, Scoot has been updated. I'm not sure. Some people don't like the new Scoot, but some people might not, not like change in general. Scoot was updated to match his current design. That was Elizarin who made the emote. I liked it. It's basically his New Horizons promotional art. So, he's a little smoother than usual. He's a little more HD. But, some people might like Krusty Scoot, but if you give him HD Scoot a chance, you might get used to him. Needs a joint, maybe. Um, but hey, oh, there's also one more. It's um, that dude from Sunday Stream, which was uh, what game was it? Doesn't even I don't even remember what game it was. But there, it's a uh, Frankerface or Better Twitch TV emote. Shit, it's a uh, Vine Scum, and it's basically just like Vine Ryzen's brother. His head is not as as, ri as risen, but he he's still. Looking to, you know, fucking ruin, ruin your day, I guess. I don't know what, the, I don't know what he does. I don't know what that emote even is. I don't even, I don't even know why I added it. We're going to get that gold. Maybe even get the platinum. Maybe a mini Ryzen? Like when, okay, so... Why don't we use it like this? Instead of a full Ryzen where I'm fully disconnected, Fallout. if there's a mini Ryzen Ready? Go. and we're getting like a slight internet issue, maybe you could use that. Fallout. That'll also communicate to me so I can Ready? see at a glance that there's a little bit of an internet issue. And if I see a Vine Ryzen, I'm like, oh, I'm offline. But if I see that, I'll be like, oh, it's just a minor inconvenience. I guess. Ready, go. Fallout. Ready, go. V 
Vinny, do you really think the chat is going to be that accurate? No. Very likely not. Want we'll to talk about some dedication? Ready? Go! Down! I activated the the help feature and and this game also has the thing where you have to complete the levels in a certain amount of deaths to I guess unlock more bonus shit which clearly I am not doing that because I want that time This is it Vinny, your capture card will be replaced by the time you make that jump. It already was. Fallout. Ready? Go. Fallout. Ready? Go. Ah, yes, Gordon. For three play coins, I can help you complete this level. But first, let us look up the definition of the level, the word level on Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia that anyone from Black Mesa can edit. Ready, go. I just stole that from the chat member who stole that from that video, who stole that from Half-Life, who stole that from probably something else. Let me wait a second. Ready, One second. Ready, go. Ready, go. I want that platinum, son. Take the gold. Ready, go. I like the metal system. That gives you even more reason Ready, to waste go. lots of time. Ready, go. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be getting a gold on this one. That's just fine. Go. Silver. Ready? Yeah, quick Go. resets are good. Just again, like, the classic monkey ball formula with a couple of very obvious and needed quality of life improvements and some good level Ready? design. Doors that open, I spiral Ready, down. Go. Ready, go. Ready, go. I think I just found my BRB song. Ready? 
Ready? I wonder if I could use a GameCube controller with this. Probably can. I'll try it in between now and the next level, because the GameCube controller has really... like, really good um, precision for shit like this. Gated analog stick? I guess that's how you'd say it, sure. Ready? Go! You are now audibly aware that there have been multiple takes with the announcer of Ready Go. Oh. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, it's one of these gimmicks. Yeah, I don't like this one. Ready? Go. No, that wasn't so bad actually. Oh, the famous monkey ball hamster wheel. I don't know how I could have done that any faster, but there you go. Vinny, why are you playing as Poland? Oh. So I am. One would imagine there would be lock unlockable... like, balls. Is it Poland or is it Indonesia? Oh. See, I didn't even know.
Yeah, I'm opening these drawers. Depending on how I tilt. Because remember, the world is tilting. They, they've kept that. This ain't no marbles. This ain't no disco. This ain't no fooling around. I missed the one cycle. Just picture my face as the dude from Puddle of Mud covering about a girl. While I'm playing this game. I will provide a visual aid. Oh wait, no, I got rid of it. I had it on my desktop, it was just staring at me. I got rid of it, I didn't want to see his face. little perfect how about total success 90 deaths three bronze Without falling more than 15 times, no, that's probably not going to happen. <sighs> oh wait, hang on a second here. See you later. Vinny, the full game of Hylix 2 is out on Steam in beta form. Will you give it a go when it's out in beta, which is just bug fixing? Yeah, I've been worried about that. I don't want to stream Hylix 2 and spoil it for myself too much. I might... I, I've heard from, um... Someone, Robin, was telling me that the game is extremely unbalanced at the moment. And there's a lot of stuff still missing. So... If I were to play that and try to get, like, a... You know, a feel for what the game is supposed to be... I could play it for maybe a half hour, but I don't I don't want to ruin it for myself. So I might check it out in beta form, but only for like a half hour, and that's it. Also, I'm gonna try the GameCube controller. I'm gonna see if it works. I'm gonna plug in the adapter.
the crust is probably because I'm plugging in a USB thing. No, GameCube controller doesn't work. I mean, maybe it does, but it's not working here. Probably need VJoy to get it to work. You need an adapter driver. Um, if anyone knows if this game... I'll tell you what, next time I play it, if I play it again, I'll try again. But if anyone knows if this game supports the GameCube controller, let me know. I didn't think it would be plug and play, I swear. You might need VJoy, you might need to restart. Steam can map inputs to generic gamepads. Um, the Scoot emote on weed. Oh my god. X input wrapper. Alright, no big deal. Try V-Sync. See if that fixes the, uh... The weirdness. <laughs> yes, perfect! Good. That's exactly what I want. Win medals to proceed to the next set. Get a bronze medal in all previous stages to unlock this world. I'm gonna try medal mode real quick. Oh, this is more monkey ball too. So these are levels we've done already, but I'm gonna give them a shot. Looks like V-Sync helped quite a bit. Oops. Ready? Go! Ready? Go! Call out! Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Go. Wait, do we need a Palpatine emote now? Yeah. Ready? Go. If anyone can find that exact face he makes when he says I would consider it. We don't have very many emote slots left, but I've got two. Ready? Go! Oh, Skeevy Sheev. Skeevy Sheevy. Small Palpy? Oh, I did have a very small Palpy that was like 10 by 10 pixels. That I used to, like, show on stream. I don't even know where I'm going. I don't even know where I was going. Ready? Go. Fuck.
I'll try that again. And what scene does he even do that? He he does that in Revenge of the Sith. Early on when Anakin is fighting Count Dooku and he gets like a good not quite this, like he's gotta be mid yeah. Like his mouth needs to be more open. I I'll go through and I'll find a good frame, I think. But um YouTube vid of him saying Yeah, there's a there's a couple good frames here, chat. So let's take it slow and take a look. It's one second. There's the the sweet spot is somewhere around here. Damn, if only this wasn't so blurry, that might be the frame. Oh, that one's pretty good. Alright, cut. Good take. Can we get another take? Uh, Ian? Ian, can we... Can we go again? That would make a good GIF emote. Yeah, that would be a good GIF emote, chat. Ian, can we get one more take, please? I don't know what you want me to do different, George. We, we've tried it ten times. Yeah. Well, I just need you to, you know, sink into it a little bit more. Like, like really, really believe it. Like, like, um, you're watching, uh, I don't know, like, a holographic baseball or, or cricket. And, uh, your team just scored a goal. And, uh, you can just try one more time. Just go again, please. Ready? Go. George, they don't score score goals in cricket. No. Oh, whatever the fuck they do, I don't care. Just, just do the take. I'm gonna find a way to do this. Ready? Go. Fall out. I'm telling you, there's definitely a way to do this. Ready? Go. Fall out. Probably is a way to get to the elevator early. Ready? Go. Otherwise, how do you get the fucking platinum? That's Fall the real out. question. Oh, that is wonderful. Quick rest restart. That's excellent. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Maybe. I I got it. I kind of touched it. I guess even if I could get a one cycle on the, the platform to the left there, that would be enough. Those horizontal bumps are acting like speed bumps. They are. They're sons of bitches, those, those horizontal bumps.
Yeah. Ready? Go. So close. This is where the madness begins to set in. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. As if it ain't already. Ready, go. Call out. Ready, go. Yeah, I like the monkey ball announcer too. Ready, Trust me. Go. Ball out. Wait, maybe, well... Ready, go. Maybe they could do announcer packs for this, games, uh, this game, and I can do one. Ready, go. Yoda could do one, but it'll be me as Yoda. Ready. Doesn't even sound like human words anymore. Yes. Yep. One cycle. Platinum. Gotta be platinum. Yep. That was worth it for me. I'm not going to go for the platinum on this one, but I'll take the gold. Ready, go. Try again needs to be the second option, in my unprofessional Ready, opinion. Yeah, the problem with, with the smooth analog for a game like this is you don't know when you're pressing forward entirely, and that's that's where the GameCube controller would be amazing. There's got to be an option to turn off the announcer. Should be gold. Might even be platinum. No, no, no platinum. Ready, go. Someone said, why do you hate cute things? See, there's, there's the equal and opposite of every possible thought, and, um... I play Animal Crossing. This is more annoying than cute. Ready, go. It's only annoying because I'm the one pressing the button over and over again for it to, you know, restart, so... Otherwise, it would be probably a little bit less annoying, wouldn't it? Go. That damn pizza cloud. You can get platinum on this one. Ready, go. Ready, go. 
520, not bad. Ooh, still no platinum. Sub five. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Hang on. So I'm, I'm still hung up on this one. Never mind. Ready, go. Tried to swoosh it. There was no swoosh available. I love, like, like, easy, cheesy levels that you can get really insane times on. I don't like doing long levels and going for, like, crazy scores on those, but levels like this, it becomes an addiction. I don't really know how to explain it. 490. Nope, nope. I'm gonna need, uh, 475 on that one. Look at that. Ready? Vinny, you have four seventy five? No. Well, that's four fifty eight. Got it. Ready? Go. Oh, God. Only silver. Only silver. Ready, go. Ready, I think I just have go. to like barrel through these divots. Should be gold. Oh, and platinum. You just gotta barrel through him. Ready, go. Ready, go. Go. What the hell is the platinum for this? Ready, go! 
That's interesting. Ready? Go! Call out. Whoop! Ready? Go immediately? Go. Ready? Doesn't look like you can go immediately. Look at that. It just go. stops you short. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Even if you go completely go. perfectly straight ahead, not going to happen. Why would I go that fast? Try getting bounced by the outer ring on the first cycle. Can't get to the outer ring on the first cycle. Can you turn off the announcer? That's my next step. Alright, I don't really need to do plat- what? Do I need to do platinum? Do I need to care about this? Probably not. Well, I unlocked the next, uh, all golds. Let's see, we can do one more arcade mode if you want, chat. This is classic monkey ball style. Uh, well, actually, the arcade mode's kind of insane. Um, we can maybe another time do that. Let's do just... we'll do more metal mode. Let's rush, hurry to the goal, shoot for the best metal trick. Um... 50 stages. I don't want to do 50 stages right now, but I, I want to do... I guess we can continue to do metal mode. I had fun with it. Except we are going to see some levels again. So you still get a sound effect. You get doop, deet. Boop. Ready? Go! Lapsed into silver there. Again? Aw, oh, you fuck. Yeah, gold. 
I like this game. I like it more now. Oh, it's this again. This is the only, like, yellow goal I've seen yet. So I, I, I'm gonna do this now, chat. Twelve hour stream, go! achievement for that, too. No platinum, weirdly enough. Revolving doors. Foggy day in Boston. one of the better songs on the fall. Revolving Doors. Then again, I think the the fall, the Gorillaz album, the fall is better than people give it credit for. Um, someone said Revolving Doors is the only good song. I like some of the, the ones without vocals. I think some of that shit's really good. The good soundscapes. Aspen Forest, Amarillo. Yeah, those are great. Um, what's the Hillbilly Man song? I like that when when the dude with the scratchy voice goes. Bleh! Bobby in Phoenix is good, but then again, I just like Bobby Womack, so... Still no Platinum, weirdly enough. Little Richard died. Which, uh, he basically was the influence on everyone. Um, I didn't know a ton of his music, but I respected the fuck out of him. Like, he was, you know, instrumental in, like, Elvis, Bob Dylan, The Beatles, um, any of those early cats, as they're called. He was the guy that influenced them. He had the energy, the stage presence, the songs. Dude was... Dude was amazing. It's been just an awful year for, like, so, like talent. Whether it be bands, like, the dude from Kraftwerk died. Um... What other band was it? It was a, another band recently. Was it the Shugs? Fountains of Wayne. Um... Florian Schneider, yeah, he passed away. That was fuck. That was a shame. Rick May passed away, I know. And there's another band that was a little bit more obscure. Their, uh, one of their people died, and I was like, oh, really? It just keeps happening. There's another uh, celebrity that just passed away, too, like, just before I went live. Or, like, I found out about it. Yeah, not Little Richard, someone else. Also, Little Richard was ahead of his time. 
because, um, you know how rappers have Lil in their name? He was the first. It's a bad joke. Except he spelled it out. Bad joke. I do remember them parodying, uh, parodying him in Mario Brothers. The weird- the weird thing is my first exposure to Little Richard was the fucking Super Mario Brothers Super Show. If you can believe it. Oh, oh, uh, Siegfried and Roy. Roy died. Jesus. Did, who was the one that got bit by the tiger? Was it Roy? Let me just say, if you work with tigers, and you live to an old age, you're a lucky son of a bitch. So, that's one. Two. Anyone that isn't Joe Exotic, in this case, that works with tigers, instantly gets way more respect. But yeah, um, I've never seen Siegfried and Roy. I know, you know, it's it's one of those those uh, those things that just everyone has heard of. You know, it's like it became part of the um, the fabric of our culture, even if it was just jokes. But yeah, it just sucks to lose anyone, especially someone that you know survived however many fucking shows they did with tigers. That's insane. It takes some fucking serious bravery. Or stupidity to work with tigers like that. Someone said all of culture is a joke, though. Oh, well, we got a badass in chat. The cultureless one, we call him, where we come from. Reject all form of culture. Hey, guys. Hi. It's just, it's a really, really tight turn if I'm going to do right, left, right. Someone said, I hate celebrity culture as much as the next person, but all of culture? Nah. Yeah, I know, it, that's that's kind of, I mean, celebrity worship. I, I have my my heroes who, have, you know, accomplish stuff, but I don't care what the fuck they do in their, like, you know, marriage. Or, um, you know, anything like tabloids report on, like, that's none of my concern, but I, I like, David Gilmore is a hero of mine just because I love the way he plays guitar. I think there's some... some extraterrestrial shit going on in his playing. But, um... I just tend to appreciate, like, Patrick Stewart. I love the dude's acting. I love watching him act. Um, and, I, you know, it's nice when he's posting online and he's having, you know, a good life. I'm happy about that, but otherwise I don't really... You know... That part of celebrity culture I don't really care about. I think it's... It's actually kind of, like... Sickening. Fucking hell, this level. Just, I think I can get over there, though. Vinny, go- what is it? Someone said- don't make the- don't turn? <sighs> I 
Vinny, aren't you a celebrity? No. I hate this level. Maybe I don't need to get a gold on every level. Maybe I can just like not focus on that. And if I want to play it again, get the gold, I can do that. Maybe that's that's fine, right chat? Vinny, you are actively making better music than Mike Love. I mean, what the fuck kind of bar is that? Also, thank you. I take that as a compliment. And I, I enjoy that compliment. Because it's also... A put-down... Here's what I will say about celebrity culture. Mike Love can eat a dick for what he did to his cousin Brian. Someone else in chat said, so are middle schoolers. <laughs> I don't think he was the only reason. That's like saying Yoko Ono broke up the Beatles. That's not true. I, I think there's, there's so much more to it than that. He's not the only reason that Brian went a little, uh off the rails, we'll say, which will put it nicely. But he is the main reason, and he was the biggest detractor of Brian's, you know, talent and um, his abilities. As far as we know, publicly. So. What about Brian's psychologist? That was later on. That, that dude sucked. Landy? Played by Pig Vomit in the movie? Eugene Landy was a big piece of shit, but if Brian... Listen, who knows? Because there was drugs involved, who the fuck really even knows what happened? But if Brian didn't go off the rails in the 60s, then the Landy shit would have never happened. So, was it fame? Was it stress? Was it pressure? Trying to live up to pet sounds, was it, um, the LSD? Which I think, by the way, yes. Started hearing voices in his head, after the LSD. And he couldn't, you know, he couldn't figure them out. Poor guy. And it was also his father, like, Brian Wilson's father. Like, this was in his book, it was in the movie. It was stuff that... Here I am, detracting celebrity culture and, and telling you all this deep shit about Brian Wilson. Great. Well... Well, again, it's in the movie Love and Mercy. So if you've not seen that movie with, um, what's his name? Uh, this fucking emo, uh, kid from Steve Carell. Little Miss Sunshine emo kid, uh, who was in There Will Be Blood. Paul Dano. And John Cusack played older Brian Wilson. He's really good, by the way, Paul Dano. Dude's a really good actor, and, um... Little Miss Sunshine's a great movie. But, yeah, I, he did a fucking fantastic job as young Brian Wilson in Love and Mercy, and that's all in the movie. So, if you have any interest in some, like... in a good movie that goes over some of the best Beach Boys music, and you want to see Mike Love being a, a cock, kind of, and also what this horrendous therapist did to him, it's in the movie Love and Mercy. I'd recommend it. I've talked about it on stream before, it's- it's good. It got me into the Beach Boys. Aside from the singles, it made me want to like... It made me have a lot of empathy for Brian Wilson, to the point where I decided to get into his music, and it was worth it, because it was... 
really emotionally fulfilling and rewarding. However, his music is incredibly sad. And it's pretty clear that there's a lot of cries for help in, in even the sunniest Beach Boys music. Not always, but in some of it. Not that, that was a Mike Love song, Kokomo. Then you go right on the second one, I'm gonna try it. I've just been... blabbering. See that? Missed by like a pixel. No, Kokomo's still a good song. I, I I like Kermit's version better than the... Uh, I mean, Carl Wilson was on it. Uh, Kokomo may be a Mike Love song, but... Can't one-cycle that, can I? But uh, it's still still catchy. It's still chill to listen to. I don't really... Yeah! Chat, this is not... I don't know if I can one-cycle this. I'm positive that they designed this as a one-cycle. I just don't know if I can do it. Games like this, they, they do that shit on purpose so that you can... Maybe if I let go for, like, a second. You gotta let go for, like, the briefest of, of moments. Can't get up there. Give me a couple more tries, chat. I think I got this. So I let go. I, I feel like that's the only way, like, as if I slow down for a second. Otherwise, I just keep hitting the goddamn windmill. Vinny just let go. Silver. How dare you do this to me, game? Go left on the second windmill? That's not happening. Tell I got this. I got this. Just need to be a little bit more precise. <laughs> Vinny, there's a jump button. I promise you there's not a jump button.
Okay, <laughs> got it. No, I got the platinum too. Fuck yeah. That's not possible, right? No. gold. I don't know what the platinum requirements are, but if there isn't an early cheese, then I don't, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know. The fuck do I do at this level? Have you thought about a perfect dark stream with the mouse and keyboard mod? I've thought about it. I've also streamed perfect dark on the Xbox 360 or and the Xbox One version, which is a good version too. The only thing is the original there's probably a 60 frames a second patch like there was for Goldeneye, I would imagine, right? So There's just some better textures and models in the 360 version. So. Vinny, I finished Vine. Yeah! Okay, let me take a look. Ross says, Vinny, you're so good at handling balls. Well, you, you missed the... You missed a couple levels, pal. Yeah, it works. That can definitely, definitely work. Oh, fuck. Vinny, one of those sounded like vomiting? You don't know. You don't- you don't know where my stomach has been. What did I say the other day? was how I got a stomach. Oh, I ate too much uh, coffee cake. And that's how I got my stomach. There's a GoldenEye fan remake being made as well. I saw that. I saw that. That looks cool. That'll get shut down. If it doesn't get shut down, the amount of work it'll take to complete that will probably exceed the willpower of the developers. That's me being a cynical prick about it. I would love for that to be finished. I support them, I follow them on Twitter, and I hope they finish it. That's, you know, that's my encouragement. I'll play it day one. Oh god, it's this one. I hate this level so much. This was the one from before that I, I could not stomach. 
even with my coffee cake stomach. It's not that it's difficult, it's just annoying. And there's no cheese, there's no easy cheese. Man, they really got the physics of this game correct. I'm really a big fan of the way these balls handle, to quote Ross. Gold. Fine. No, gold is good. Silver is fine. Platinum is pog. Pog. Not bad. Not bad. Check out rush mode real quick. I'll go through a couple levels real quick and then I'm gonna uh, switch over to Trials of Mana. So, oh, you just add time. Well, considering we've seen these levels already several times, I'm not gonna do this. Try the expert levels. Next time I stream this, I will. This game impressed me. I can't get rid of the thinking ball, it's too good. Is that Mono's avatar? It's good. It's monkey ball. Bone gamer. Look at these champions. It's as close as you can get to monkey ball. Yeah, and I'm really happy that it actually kind of nailed the gameplay and the level design. Pretty cool. Alright, um, we're gonna take a break and then I will be back with Trials of Mana. Thank you for watching this. This was cool. Will you check out Rolled Out when it releases? It literally is just Monkey Ball. Well, this literally is just Monkey Ball. Uh, maybe. Never say never. Again, which is a James Bond knockoff movie starring Sean Connery.
That was a weird day. The day that was released. Anyway, um, okay, so, anyway, stick around for just a couple minutes. I'll be back. I'm gonna play a song that, um, just came to mind while I was streaming that game. See you in a couple minutes. <laughs> 